can kind of take us through what it's been like for you? Yeah, so uh, out of high school, I took a scholarship and went to uh, St. Francis University. I was there for a full year, and then about a week into um, summer camp, um, I just up and left St. Francis and uh, gave Coach Vandalin a call, the linebackers coach here, who offered me a preferred walk out of high school, and uh, called him up asking for his spot. And they told me to be there in a week, you know. So I was in the team for that first year. Um, you know, I wasn't here when guys were leaving, so I don't know about all that a whole lot. Um, but I mean, that 2012 team was special. You know, being a part of that team means a lot to me. Um, you know, and then kind of just ride the roller coaster of those few seasons. And you know, the Coach Franklin staff comes in and has done a great job. Um, you know, transition from Coach Vandal and to Coach Pry has been great as well. Um, both guys mean a lot to me, and you know, I owe, I owe a lot to both of them. Yeah, you know, I always had the dream of playing at Penn State, obviously, growing up in City College. You know, a lot of kids do. Um, so it's definitely surreal, you know, first time I walked out of that tunnel, you know, I was ineligible because I transferred up the division. Um, so I was in sweatpants, you know, but it still meant a lot to me. It was, you know, it was a critical part of my career. You know, I still remember that very vividly. Um, so obviously growing up up in State College, you know, playing at Penn State means a lot. Best moment for you in your career here? Um, I would say my favorite moment was uh, probably the Michigan game um, in O'Brien's last year. You know, it was, an, it was an incredible season. You know, we had a lot of games that kind of went like that. Um, but you know, watching that come back, and you know, you know, the sideline never had a doubt that we were going to win that game. You know, everyone was behind each other 100%. Um, you know, that was a special time for me and for the rest of our teammates. Um, so. Coming out of high school, I was really determined to be a scholarship player. You know, it was always a dream of mine to be a scholarship Division One player. Um, so went to St. Francis, made my first start as a freshman, as a true freshman, and we're on the ride home. And um, all of our games were up in kind of northeast area, you know, Rhode Island and such. And we're driving by and we passed the stadium. And my first thought was, man, I need to get back to Penn State. You know, I texted my dad and told him that. He said, "We talk about crazy. You know, you just started as a freshman." Um, but that, that, you know, that's kind of when I realized that um, what I was doing in St. Francis wasn't really fulfilling my dream and what I wanted to do with football. Um, so, well, my choice to come to Penn State really had nothing to do with, you know, I, with the fact that there was less scholarships and I saw I had a chance to play. It was just the fact that I really wanted to be at Penn State. Um, and, um, you know, with the scholarships back, I was happy. You know, it was helping us as a team. You know, that's, that, that's really all I care about. I'm a team first kind of guy. So, you know, I do whatever I can do to help the team, whether it be scout team, running second string, um, you know, watching the linebacker play during the game, reporting back to Coach Prize. So, you know, you know, that thought never crossed my mind. Just the hard work that it takes, you know, to come in as a walk-on and to work every day with never a guarantee to play. You know, to play. You're just working and working and working for a spot on the team, you know, to kind of earn the respect. So just being able to, you know, that daily grind of being a Division One athlete as a walk-on is something you know that I'll definitely take out of here and you know use the rest of my life. I mean, I came, we came to Penn State because this was, was the most like just solidified program you know in the country. Uh, you knew what you were going to get when you came here, and then uh, things happen. You know, uh, I came here. I didn't come here because Coach Paterno uh, strictly. I mean, it was a little bit of a, a extra, but I knew he was 80, 80 some years old when I came here, and he wasn't going to be here my whole career, so it wasn't surprising. Uh, but at the same time, I came here for the guys in the locker room, you know, the guys on the team, uh, the guys that you go to battle with every day, you know. So when the sanctions and stuff hit and everybody had a choice to leave, it really was a point where uh, there's very few teams in the country could have did what we did and every, all, most of our guys stayed on the team and kept this program the way it is. You know? That's just the type of guys that came for the locker room. And uh, that shows, that base, basically made my decision coming here just made it more real, just that those guys are the type of guys that stayed. So it was, it was, it was everything I thought and everything. I wouldn't change anything uh, going back the last five years for, I wouldn't change the thing just because it made our program stronger. I think I made the guys, the coaches, and everybody tougher too. Yeah, I mean, uh, anytime a new staff comes in, you gotta earn, they gotta earn your trust, you gotta earn their trust, and uh, they know as uh, players, they can watch film and know the type of player we are, but they don't know the type of person we are. So, uh, as just that trust factor is huge. You got, I know, I got to trust Coach Shoop's gonna call the right play, and he's got to trust that I'm on the right play, and vice versa. Same with my teammates and stuff. So, I just think uh, when he first came in, we've already had a couple coaches, so I think there was a little wall between some players and coaches. 
that we had to get down. Um, and I think we did over the last couple of years, last year and a half, Coach Frank, I think he's done a great job. Um, and also all those assistant coaches have done a tremendous job at breaking that wall down and kind of just being more um, down to earth guys with us and treat us like men because uh, and keep that trust factor just because that's um, that really basically when the game's online, fourth quarter, it, you got to you, you trust the person or not. That's basically what it comes down to. It wasn't a certain moment. It was just more of just the off season workouts, uh, just the bonds you build with them over time. So those relationships are built over time. Um, in a split second, they can get destroyed, but at the same time, uh, there, our coaches have done a tremendous job of keeping everybody together and everybody on the same mission. Anthony, what would beating Michigan finish undefeated at home? How would that, you know, fit into the piece of the puzzle here with uh, continuing to grow the program? Uh, I would mean any, everything. You know, I um, coming from Michigan, I kind of have a little. I'm not saying hate, but it's just a little uh, competition uh, factor. Just from, uh, Michigan State and Michigan are both great teams. So, uh, and then they're also in the Big Ten too. So that's a Big Ten win. And uh, I think just the, from uh, being a competitive person. I always want to go home with that win, you know, um, not for bragging rights, but just kind of just to, for everybody to know that we beat them, you know. Uh, and just, it also is, Penn State's a huge program, so are they, so just two big programs like that clashing together, and going to war, is just, it's going to be, it's going to be a memorable game. Also, do you have, a, a, you know, much of a sense of the great defensive tackles that have preceded you? Who are the ones that you, you know, kind of looked up to here? Um, I was when I mean when coming in I was like the I was like watching like Audric and them um, and watch how he played I feel like that's the kind of guy I play like a little bit um, but and then also just when I got here watching Jordan Hill and Devin Still uh, Jordan Hill and Daquan Jones and just those guys are all great tandems that uh, are successful now in the NFL and so so I think just uh, consistently just um, respecting what came before me. And after it was made me and uh, AJ definitely, uh, hopefully won into those great tandems that Penn State has had. Uh, I think we're up there with the best. So I'm being biased, but I think we're, I think we might be the best. But I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Anthony, uh, what is your your favorite moment with Joe Paterno, and and also what what has been the favorite moment to your career so far at Penn State? Um. I mean, watching uh, it was a 4-9 win against uh, Illinois uh, when they missed that field goal. I think that, that was uh, with Coach Turner. That was like the biggest game I remember there. Uh, and then just my what, what was the next, next question? Uh, just the overall uh, best moment of your career, most memorable part of your career so far. Um, for a particular moment was probably the interception against uh, Pick Six versus Ohio State. Uh, how it just changed the game. Um, but I think just from an overall team, when uh, when we went to Wisconsin, uh, no, probably it was a four overtime win against Michigan. That's by far the best moment. But we've had a lot of great moments here. Um, when team wins, that really uh, made made your change your life when you look back at it. You know, one or two things that we don't know or that we don't see about Christian, because I know we. Seen the videos of you guys golfing together, and you kind of yeah. rip it on him pretty hard. So, what are some of the things that we don't see or don't know about Christian? I mean, he's uh, he loves outdoors. He loves hunting. Um, he loves just chilling, having a good time with you, man. Uh, just person to person, he's a good. Uh, he he's good to person to talk to. He's a good listener. Uh, but a lot, there's a lot of things that, like those kind of things, you don't see. Um, but at the, those, yeah, those are like little things that. People don't know about him that he's just good. He's a really good dude. Have you ever gone hunting or fishing with him? Or? Uh, I have. I can't go into deer hunting because I talk too much. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I went when I was like nine, and they said they'd never take me again. So I never went again. <laughs> but I like fishing. We've uh, we fished a little bit at his, at his grandpa's place, but um, we'll probably go fishing trips later in the future in career. Anthony, have you thought about how emotional it's going to be in that tunnel, and who do you think is going to be the most emotional? Because typically, some guys kind of are a little bit more, you know, crying and that sort of thing than others. Yeah, I mean, from uh, emotionally crying perspective, I don't know. Everybody kind of uh, handles it different. Um, I try to be more of an. I'm an inner. It's all within myself. Uh, try not to be 
cry too much, uh, even though I cry in some movies, but uh, <laughs> King Kong was the saddest movie ever. <laughs> that. But anyways, uh, yeah, just emotional standpoint, I think there's a lot to, uh, uh, just, it's a, it's the last game of Beaver Stadium. It's these fans, uh, this community, Beaver Stadium itself. Just it's unbelievably uh, great experience. You can't take it back. I'll remember this for the rest of my life. Um, the moments of walking out of the tunnels with my teammates, um, and then just the locker room times, the uh, just all the relationships you have with these guys, coaches, and everything. You'll just never forget them. So I think I think just the whole grand ex experience I've had at Penn State, kind of coming down the last game. Is emotional, but I know everybody on the team, even the younger guys, are get emotional for a big game like this. Uh, get butterflies and stuff. So, Christian, it's obviously Senior Day, and every Penn State fan out there would be wondering: uh, Have you given consideration if this will be your last game here at uh, Beaver Stadium? Um, not really. I mean, I'm just again focusing on it one week at a time. Um, you know, doing what I need to do to make sure I'm the most prepared I can, and then. Right now, for these seniors to go out and play play as well as I can, and, and you know, make sure that, that as a team we're really rolling and doing what we need to do. It's a great challenge that we have this week against Michigan. Uh, they bring a lot of stuff to the table, so um, you know we're we're really excited about that, and that's I think that's where all of our heads are right now. Yeah, I mean these guys were um, the first guys that really I spent a lot of time with when I was getting recruited here on visits and stuff. So you know, for me, they mean a lot. Um, you know, it really took me under their wing, learned a lot from them in terms of how they handled the situations that they've been dealt. Um, and, you know, they, they, they deserve to be sent out on a high note and they deserve to be sent out the right way. And, um, you know, they, they, similar to the last few classes that came through, they're, they're very special and they mean a lot to this program and, and, and the grand scheme and the history of this program. There's been um, mention of criticism, there has been public criticism. Um, why do you think, despite the fact that you've been highly efficient this season, um, the, that criticism has somewhat continued? It is what it is. It's it's part of part of being where you are um, as a player at this level, and especially at a program like Penn State. It's part of the deal. So, um, you know, just focusing on what what you can control and the things you have control over is ultimately what you got to do. Um, and and you know, I'm enjoying the process, so uh, not not really paying too much attention to it. Christian, uh, Von Walker said a couple weeks ago that when he got here that he didn't know who you were and that he just started kind of picking on you right away yeah. and giving you a hard time. So what do you remember about first meeting him and what did it mean for you just to kind of be treated as one of the guys, you know, from somebody like that? Yeah, no, I, I love Von. I think from the first day I met him, I loved how hard he worked. I loved him as a person. He's great, great personality, uh, a lot of fun to hang out with and spend time with. So, um, yeah, it was cool. I really didn't. I'm not the type of person to expect any special treatment. I came in and just really put my head down and tried to work as hard as, as, as anyone else. Um, so I think just having Vaughn there, though, was, was, it was always fun. We always kind of went back and forth at it. And it, you know, at that time, he was playing offense. So, um, you know, we, we, we definitely had, 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 a, had a lot of good times when we, when we first got here. Hey, Christian, uh, kind of looking ahead here a little bit, I mean, how do you hope you're remembered here at, at Penn State? Um, you know, I, I just want to make sure that, that, that in terms of the teammates' eyes and, and um, you know, that, that, that they knew that I went out there and left it all on the field. Um, you know, played with a, with, with a fiery competitor inside of me and, um, you know, really, really let it all hang out. You know, that's, that's kind of how I try and play. That's how I try and live my life. So, uh, you know, that, that at the end of the day is something that I hope happens. But ultimately, that's going to be determined by people um, outside of myself. Christian, what do you remember about the Eastern Michigan game, your first start here? I mean, what, what's the difference between you walking out of the tunnel that game and walking out of the tunnel this weekend? Um, you know, that, that was, uh, feels like forever ago, but it really wasn't. Um, you know, thinking about it, it was, it, was, it, was, it was awesome to be able to come out, um, you know, as a freshman, have kind of uh, a lot of guys around me make plays. It was a great experience. And, you know, you, it's one of those things you really never forget. Um, your first college game at home, and then we were able to go out and win, so that always helps. Um, and then now, you know, it, it's one of those things that doesn't change. You know, walking out of that tunnel uh, is special every Saturday, and it's it's something that you look forward to, and it's something that is kind of ingrained in your brain um, as you as you as you move forward, and it's something that that is really special to each and every one of these guys.